All right. What's going on, everybody? We're back. Myself, Mark Winkler, and Ronnie Fernandez, licensed clinical social worker. Ronnie, there's a lot happening. Yeah, a lot's, right now, yeah, right? lot's <laughs> been going on. I mean, uh, first and foremost, we have the, the coronavirus that's, that's, uh-huh. uh, that's taken over. I mean, I, yeah. I think it's, it, it started off with, uh, you know, the NBA basketball player uh, testing positive for it. And yeah. now, now that's kind of like the big trigger in, uh, over here. So, um, so yeah, I mean, we can talk about, you know, being a parent during these times, you know, these are very yeah. scary times and, uh, kind of going over it. Um, how, how are your kids handling? They're fine, man. I think what I've done as a parent is help them to, cause it's a balance, right? Mm-hmm. We live in an age of information, but unfortunately it's the age of misinformation as well as, as correct information. So one of the things I've done is I, I've listened to the things that they're bringing me, the information that they're bringing me and what they're hearing from the classmates and perhaps teachers. And I'm processing, I'm allowing them the opportunity to talk about it because they're nervous about it, man. They, they have a lot of fears around this. I'm allowing them the opportunity to talk about it, but then also I'm directing them to sources with them and, and, and them on their own where they can learn more um, correct and update information. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm, my kids are, are little, I mean, they're, mm-hmm. they're, they're four and six. So uh-huh. I think on our part, we have to be careful on over explaining things, you know, yes. where, where they're little. And so it's, it's not kind of, we're not going to go into detail about things and it's just saying that a lot of people are getting sick and the best thing to do mm-hmm. is, to, is to stay home today. Um, right. and, so, and, and those type of discussions where we just kind of keep it simple. Um, I, I think sometimes we have a tendency to over explain, especially, right. you know, um, when we get worried and it kind of, it might spill off to our, to our kids. But since my kids are so young, we really I just kind of want to keep it tight and just, you know, okay, we're going to, you know, we're just going to keep it kind of like a, a stay home day or, but you, you want to continue to have that, have that structure and we're going to make mistakes and uh, we might get a little like, Oh, you know, but it's, it, it's, it's okay. You know, we're just, we'll just yeah. move on and, and try to keep things simple as much as possible. I think that that's a great approach to this, especially with younger kids. Don't try to give them too much information. Don't, don't sit them in front of some graph chart to try yeah. to explain the numbers of deaths. And, you know. But the reality is, I think as parents, the more we get into that information, the more we look at the graph charts, the more we look at you know, the number of people infected, like 100,000 worldwide. And then, but then we shouldn't stop there, right? The next yeah. number we should look at is the number that of people who have recovered from this, people who are in recovery, and the unfortunate ones that have passed away. And then if we look at those numbers as parents ourselves, we can approach the conversation in a much more calm mindset because yeah. those numbers are telling us that, yes, it is spreading, but it's not leaving people strewn out on the streets. Dead, yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. It's not a zombie apocalypse out here. Right. Yeah. So I think we have to, as parents, right. I think I, we have to be as calm and as informed as we can, because things are going to get a little bit more bumpy yeah. before they get smooth. And if we just say, okay, yeah. how can we just stay informed? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and it's, it's our, our, it's our job. I feel like it's our job to like ch- channel that. Ch- okay, mm-hmm. you know, like and we'll funnel that information to our, to our kids if if necessary if they're a little bit older. But then, um, you know, I mean, I, and I was also um, I also teach a grief and loss class to kids uh-huh. that, that that have lost their um, one of their parents, and mm-hmm. uh, so I was okay. Let's let's talk about it. And they were they had a couple of like questions and they didn't have really any questions. I was just kind of talking about it. Yeah. And uh, um, I was like, okay, now we're done. And then we moved on, you know? So mm-hmm. uh, we, I, th- I think as, as parents, as we, we do want to over, over explain, but just mm-hmm. again, I think just keeping things simple is, is, is the, is the best kind of thing right now. And then with mm-hmm. your partner or with whoever you, you talk to, that's where you have those deep down, um, uh, discussions like we're you know we're having now where we go into detail about it and who's infected right. who's not that's that's an adult conversation and I, and I think man as an adult we have to we have to approach this conversation in a way as adults yeah right we can't yeah. get lost in this this pool of of 
of childish thinking about this. I think we should pull away from making jokes about it, <laughs> right? I, yeah. I'm looking on social media, I'm seeing a lot of jokes made about it. And I think that there's a time and place for these things, but I think yeah. right now, I think what people need to know and what people need to hear is that one, it's, it's, even though it's a pandemic, there's still no need to panic, one, and then here are the reasons why. Right, so as a licensed clinical social worker, man, if someone mm -hmm. comes to you as an adult, if a parent is presenting like anxious and nervous, how would you help them to sort of walk through those moments, man, so they can then go back and be that stabilizing force for their yeah. children? And I think in a lot of cases, that's probably the, 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 the biggest thing is, um, mm -hmm. is, is taking care of yourself as, uh -huh. as, a, as a parent. Like what has worked? work for you in the past when mm -hmm. crisis happens in life you know mm -hmm. um you know is it is it meditation are you are you are you meditating are you going for your walks mm -hmm. or are you having a structured kind of uh, kind of life and and, it, and i i always feel that when things are crazy in your life you need to go simple you really need mm -hmm. to go simple with the things in life and maybe you know, and how is how, how would your you know social media consumption right now mm -hmm. is it more is it less and it's, it's those type of things of like before you can take care of your kids and you got to take care of yourself right. you know so it, it would be those type of questions of mm -hmm. like okay you need to simplify your life right now like okay and i understand you need to check your emails you need to check that kind of stuff but mm -hmm. you really need to be on facebook for the next five hours or the next mm -hmm. three hours right. like is this really right. helping me and you know doing like a simple activity you know, I know it's weird and I always thought it was weird, but like adult coloring, um, puzzles, those type of things just to kind of simplify things. So that's yeah. always my advice to just try to go with the most simple intervention and, and you go down to things that, that kind of bring you back to what's important is, is, is your kids and spending that time with them and, and then off, yeah. off the social media. Cause we live in a lot of, you know, there's so much information out there and it's really hard to tell what's, and it's coming out so fast. It's really hard to tell. Right. Right. And I think what people have a tendency to do, and I think it's really wise to say, don't sit in front of your screen for five hours straight, uh, if, even if that's your normal activity. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, absolutely. Think, right. You need to yeah. you need to pull away because in these with I think people have a tendency to share information that is that 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 skews towards the more disastrous. Right. Yeah. So so they get a headline. Coronavirus does this. And it could be really like a tragic sort of headline. Yeah. And they're passing on without even opening it up and reading yeah. through it. And, it's, and they'll see that, one, that was just to get you to click on it. Yeah. But as you read through it, you'll see that, yes, it has been declared a pandemic. But the, uh, the, the head of the CDC said that, or the, 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 the WHO, the World Health Organization, that it's a pandemic that we can control. And that's a first. Yeah. Right? And some of those yeah. things that you mentioned about controlling, Ronnie, are the things that we should be doing every day, right? Yeah. One, taking care of ourselves so our immune system stays strong, exercising, meditating, eating properly, fruits and vegetables, washing our hands, you know, yeah. Yeah. cleaning the surfaces, just things that we should be doing normally. So, but we normally don't do unless it's like going to the doctor and the doctor says, you have high blood pressure. Stop mm -hmm. eating this, stop eating that. You're like, oh, I should stop. Even yeah. though you should have been eating before, yeah, the doctor yeah, yeah, just gave you the eventual cause, the thing that's going to happen. Yeah. So I think now we're in that state where people are hearing what they should do, what they should have been doing all along, man, and they're starting to do so. That is actually not a bad thing, man. So yeah. I, and we yeah. have to look. I think we have to look for those moments, Ronnie, because I think in looking at those moments, things that are that or we still have very much in our control Absolutely. that make us feel like this is not something that is just overwhelming us yeah yeah absolutely mm -hmm. and, th and there's only certain things that you can do all I'm, all i know is that you know they, okay they recommended you know wash your hands mm -hmm. you know don't don't handshake anymore i mean i always love to do a good handshake but you know, I, we're, I, I, we're, gonna, we're doing we're doing this <laughs> now we're, we're getting air hugs yeah you know? right. i got you mug right here buddy <laughs> you know? we're doing that that stuff and that's and that's fine you know wash your hands and all that kind of stuff and uh -huh. not, not you know not um going in places where there's more than 250 people okay yeah. you know and then my wife has uh, you know um you know problems with her immune system so it's like okay well that's that's definitely us and we have to take extra precautions and yeah. so you know stuff like that we won't be able to go to church this uh, this week or next week mm -hmm. but it, it's it's just those type of things that's all we can do right now we can make sure we have right. food we have make sure we have this type of things and then yeah. that's, and then and that we're doing everything we can and and that's it and then just 
and and I know it's always hard to, to hear. So I mean, it could be hard to hear sometimes. But when there's great tragedy, when things, when something's, when something happens like this, there's also some good things that are happening. Like I'm spending more mm-hmm. time with my kids and my wife, mm-hmm. you know, and and we're not running all over the place. And maybe it's just time, like we just need to sit down with our family and and play a game, <laughs> you know, right. And, right. And, and and play a board game and and be be with each other. So maybe you know, just, so just try to look at, at the positives of that we're not running around all over the place and we, yeah. just, we have some time to spend to it with each other and I, and I and i and i going back man to the original part of our conversation i think as parents we have to look at it like that yeah. right because yeah. our kids are going to pick up <clears throat> cues from us even yeah. if we don't you know verbally say that you know express verbally what we're feeling inside they're going to pick up that we are nervous that we're yeah. outside of our normal routine of habits. And so I think if we honestly put this information in our mind that one, some good things are coming out of this. Two, we still have a lot of control over protecting ourselves, protecting our community by being responsible. We have a lot of control, man, in abating the spread of this mm-hmm. while the experts work on getting a, a vaccine for it. We as a, as a society, as a communal society, we have a lot of things that we can do to really take care of each other and that community starts at home so if we yeah. if we have that mindset of the children see that we're in that mindset they're going to be in that mindset yeah i, I think that's most probably the most important thing is that mm-hmm. parents parents take, take care of themselves you know like yeah. i know i know my wife she does really well when she has time to to meditate and take some time mm-hmm. you know i was like okay make sure you do that you know make sure you do yeah. that make sure you, you you know we're taking care of ourselves and you know even even you know with with us with us talking it's like gosh should we talk today or should we just gonna mm-hmm. but it's like I, I think this is a good thing you know you know being able to talk to you about it and hey how's your family mm-hmm. how's my family you know so I, I, and I, I think it's important so so yeah i think i think yeah the number one thing is take taking care of yourself as a parent and as a father of like do you need some time alone for a little bit do you need to get mm-hmm. stay off the social media do you need to call a friend do you just need to sit and like write or color <laughs> you know right. like just right. figure out what you you know what how are you going to be good for, for your family yeah and i think if we had to create like an impromptu list man i think those mm-hmm. would be some of the things top on the list taking care of yourself yeah doing yeah, the you things that doing the things that you do to take care of yourself if it's meditating if it's i've seen those those comic those coloring books that you're talking about my yeah. wife's a therapist those yeah. things are very relaxing they are walking, I, I use them you know. yeah right walking i mean things. so yeah not, that'll this, be a grow my gallery <laughs> care of myself yeah so it's about <laughs> self-care during these times then it's about being calm and getting your children to get to giving them proper information yeah. limiting time on social media because it's a lot of misinformation there Correct. not saying have a have an embargo of social media but definitely have a limitation of it uh going to sites like uh cdc.gov yeah. is important because they're putting update information kelly parker Kate, katie park a porter uh a representative she really got on them in this one uh a uh, uh, house uh, conference that they were having. Yeah. And she made the CDC uh, declare that they're going to have free testing. So they yeah. have like all of this information is on cdc.gov. Go to uh, uh, ca.gov, right? Make yeah. sure that you're getting update information in whatever state you're in. Go to those sort of sites, consume that information in conjunction with the lower and social media information. And then when you sit down and talk to your children, you can say, hey, look, this is what's happening. Everything is okay. And these are the precautions as a family that we're going to take. Yeah. Yeah. No, absolutely. I, yeah. I just, just try to keep things simple right now. When things are crazy, try to be simple. Try to so. be simple. <laughs> <laughs> the kiss method. Keep it simple. Yeah. yeah keep it <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. All right. And, um, yeah. I, I think uh, I think that's it. And we'll, we'll have some links below. Um, for, you know, for your mental health during this time, mm-hmm. there's some really good links, uh, um, articles from Psychology Today. And they're just simple mm-hmm. type of things. And and, uh, um, and also, you know, use your faith and, and use your, you know, um, whatever, whatever kind of, um, you know, spiritual, spiritual sense that you have. So, um, so yeah. And, that's, and, uh, and if you guys have anything that you're doing that you feel is healthy, that could be healthy to the community, Please share that. This is a this is a sharing environment. We want to see your comments. We want to know what you're doing to take care of yourself 
and we hope you definitely are taking care of yourself. Is that right, Ronnie? Yeah, absolutely. Yes, please take care of yourself. And please, yeah, right below, let's have more of a conversation and more of uh, some dialogue um, down below. So, yeah. All right, man. All right. Guys. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>